Four now on a Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for joining us for a good day and enjoy the coffee as you have it with us. And you can drop some by if you'd like at 1400 Pickens Street, sixth floor. Just saying. Do you know there's 4,500 people here in Columbia alone that suffer from type 1 diabetes? In fact, nearly a million, over 800,000 in South Carolina suffer from type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Uh, certainly an epidemic to be sure. Cures, not really sure just yet. A lot, of, uh, a lot of money is put into research to try to prevent the disease from occurring. And uh, of course, from the JDRF and the Palmetto chapter of JDRF, Ms. Dana Bruce, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Can you explain again for us the difference between type 1 and type 2? When you talk about juvenile diabetes, it's not just the kids. Adults actually no. can have juvenile diabetes. Right, and that's why we're trying to stray away from the, the title juvenile diabetes. Mm -hmm. It's type 1. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease. The pancreas uh, stops functioning properly. The body starts attacking itself. So the pancreas is no longer producing insulin. So when you see a type 1 diabetic taking a shot mm -hmm. or wearing a pump, that is life support. It is not a cure. It is merely a Band-Aid. And right. if they are separated from that insulin or the, the pump for an extended period of time, some serious complications can arise, including a seizure or a coma. Um, what, what are some causes of behavior? Is, um, is type 1 really hereditary is going to happen? Or is there, are there behaviors that I'm doing that might actually make me more at risk? With type 1, no. It's a combination of genetic and environmental factors, and we're not quite sure what those environmental factors are. But majority of the time, it's somewhere in your genetic makeup, not mm -hmm. always. But there's really nothing at this point you can do to prevent type 1. Type 2, however, which is also genetic, can most often be controlled with diet and exercise, mm -hmm. whereas type 1, you're on insulin for life. That's one if you're eating sugar every day for you know for uh, ten years in a row, then you might be more uh, chance you might to get be type more, two. Yeah, more susceptible okay. possibly, depending on your genetic makeup. Well, the uh, the good news about that is a lot of folks in the community, especially that uh, you know because we're affected so much, do a lot of, uh, of fundraisers and there's a lot of awareness about JDRF and there's maybe not as much understanding, but at least awareness. We know what we're it is. We're trying. We know we need some help. Exactly. And uh, to that end, Lexington Woman and uh, Midlands Woman Magazine having a naturally sweeter fashion show yes. Thursday night. Yes, I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to be at the Holiday Inn Suites Airport. Yes. And we're going to have fashion representative from Mays in Lexington and Envy. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great time. All of our models are type 1 diabetic, right. men and women. And it's a great time to see the community come together and learn about the disease and have some fun at the same time. It should be a great night. Of course, uh, Craig Reagan, of course, uh, being represented as well yes, in the fashion show. Yes, men, yes. Uh, now, we say the Holiday Inn Airport. It's actually the Holiday Inn on 378 and uh, Lexington, uh, Lexington Medical Center, right there on the corner. Tickets, 40 bucks for a single, 75 for adults. It's going to be a great night. Heavy hors d'oeuvres. Heavy hors d'oeuvres and adult uh, beverages. Adult beverages, if you want. <laughs> But uh, tickets being sold, and in fact, in just a few minutes, we're going to have a little sneak peek from NV Mays and Craig Reagan. Some models are going to join us in a bit yes. uh, for a sneak peek and uh, all about JDRF. So exactly. Thank you Thank so much you. for your Thank efforts. Thank you so much, Tyler, and you're going to be there emceeing. I will be the MC that evening as well. Our fashion show is about 10 minutes away, but before that, we've got a lot more coming up. It's right here on Good Day. Stay with us.